It appears as if German lawyer Reiner Fulmick, who recognized the COVID crimes against humanity as early as 2020, has been set up. Fulmick was spearheading a project known as the Second Nuremberg and co-founded the Corona Investigative Committee. His committee consulted about 150 scientists and experts from around the world, as well as former employees of the World Health Organization, and their findings showed them that the COVID measures were the first steps in a plan to destroy regional economies in order to make populations dependent upon global supply chains and were intended to reduce the population and install a world government under the United Nations. The Corona Committee received a lot of donations, which they believed were not safe due to the recent history of bank accounts being seized by complicit governments. One million euros in gold was purchased and put in holding. To fund operations, both Reiner Fulmick and Vivian Fisher took out secured loans. At a time of grave risk, for the money in our bank account, we decided to act immediately and we took money out of that account, both she and I did, in order to save it and keep it from such an attachment so that we would be able to continue with our work because had our account been attached, our bank account been attached, we wouldn't have been able to pay for the translators, for the IT, for the management, etc., etc. Reiner's loan was for 700,000 euros and was to be repaid with the proceeds from selling his home, all documented and agreed upon by the committee. Members of the Corona Committee met with a law firm in August of 2022 and filed criminal charges against Fulmick. Committee members Justice Hoffman, Marcel Templin, and Antonia Fisher claimed that Fulmick embezzled 700,000 euros, the loan that he officially took out. They claimed he was a violent anti-Semite and that if he were given the opportunity to comment before criminal proceedings began, they would not file the complaint. Two warrants were issued for his arrest, from Germany and from the EU, without Reiner's knowledge. Without an international arrest warrant, German and Mexican authorities illegally abducted Fulmick at the German embassy in Mexico. He was then flown to the Frankfurt airport, where he was arrested and put in jail. International law experts are calling his arrest an illegal kidnapping. According to documented company plans, Fulmick's loan was to be repaid after the sale of his property, but the very same people that filed the complaint against Fulmick sabotaged this agreement. The contracts stated that the profits of the Fulmick property was to be transferred to a Fulmick account so that he could repay the loan. But the notary, who was sworn to be neutral and independent, instructed the buyers to transfer the 1.158 million euros into Marcel Templin's account, which made it impossible for Reiner to repay the loan. The loans were transparently agreed upon in written contracts. There was no secrecy, and the company was aware of the loans at all times. The evidence that proves this has been officially submitted to the court, who has chosen to ignore it and has muzzled the defense and ordered they not be allowed to mention it. The evidence shows that Hoffman, Templin, and the notary illegally obtained access to the profits of Fulmick's property. And not only is the court ignoring this evidence, they have summoned these same people as witnesses against Fulmick. The complaint states, Fulmick has also made himself liable to prosecution for embezzlement by purchasing the gold bars without the consent of the shareholders, obscuring their existence and possessing them for himself. But the purchase of the gold bars is also documented. They are in holding and can only be accessed with the signatures of both Reiner Fulmick and Vivian Fisher. This is shown in company documents, which were never given to the public prosecutor, but they have been submitted by the defense and are being ignored by the court. Furthermore, while the court froze Fulmick's accounts, they failed to freeze the 1.158 million euros in Marcel Templin's account, which is presumably still there and appears to be the payoff for this internal coup. The trial is happening now in Germany, and the plaintiff's sloppy accusations are beginning to fall apart. One reporter at the trial said, The case was totally destroyed, and one could only sit there in amazement. A journalist from Biddle TV said that Reiner will not only be released, but also compensated. The people who did this to him, in my opinion, will be charged themselves. It is beginning to appear as if justice may finally be served. In collaboration with Celia Farber of The Truth Barrier, this is Greg Reese.